are. I got the uh, RTV on this oil pan, so let's go ahead and tighten it down. It's gonna be six foot pounds for these bolts. I did break one oil pan bolt a long time ago, so I had to drill that and recap it. And now I've got different bolts. So, see this is the one I'm going to be using. I had to cut it so it fit. I tested it and it did tighten down. Clean this up real quick. All right, with our RTV dry a little bit. So now we're going to torque these bolts down to 66 inch pounds, which is five and a half. I'm going to go six. What's up? All right. Uh, right now I'm working on the engine bay because I'm pretty much done, almost done with the motor. I just need to get the engine bay done so I can put the BG in. But I've been out here about three hours, so let me show you what I'm doing here. All right. Got done filling some of these holes. I got this is where the motor mount mounts up, so I'm not gonna cover them holes. But most of these holes I've already covered on the side. On some of these holes, uh, there's a place where you can screw the bolt in. So I just put the bolt in there and I cut the end off and then smoothed it down with a grinder instead of welding it. So if I need to use it, I can uh, back the bolt off and use it. So and I still have, still got some right here on the sides see like this one right here it's got a bolt through it and I just cut that off and it's all good to go so I don't have to worry about welding it uh, this side is about 40 and 60 percent uh, down over here got a lot more to do on this side I got a bunch of holes here all through here so uh, you got to take that off plastic part take that off uh, hopefully it can put a bolt through it. I got all this up here You know welded up tack welded ready for it. put a little body filler in it smooth it all out uh, This engine bay is gonna be I think I already told you but it's gonna be purple Just like the, the color of the car. It's gonna look cool man so uh, stay tuned for the uh, other side.
Right. Let's show you what I got here. Got all these. Except that one. I had to patch this because there was a big ass hole and it's real thin right there. So I just put that patch there. Still gonna have to work on it a little bit. Uh, got this. I still gotta do this hole. This hole and this hole. Um, all through here. Let's see if I can get the light. Got all this right here. Up here. There's about five holes there. Um, I'm gonna leave this one here because it's gonna be covered by the engine mount. I still gotta do this one and this one that one so what I'm gonna think I'm gonna do is just cut like a little piece of the metal and just stick it in there and just tack weld it just like I did something like that one right there but yeah coming together this this side's the worst this side's worse than the other side is back YouTube a little zip here uh, I'm gonna go ahead and install this right here and this will be the final piece for the timing cover and then I was debating on either painting this engine block or not so I'm still debating on that so let's uh, put this damn thing on there uh, I already put the RTV on it Make sure it looks good. It's fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and, gonna go ahead and add that in there. And boom. That easy. Now let me get the bolts. Kind of labeled everything. It's timing cover number one. Got seven small, one long, and the long one goes on the bottom left. So, this is it right here. All right. So, the long one, bottom left, which I guess this is it. I don't feel like it though. Hmm. Maybe this is what they're talking about. Yeah. I don't know. But we're going to go ahead and install the other ones. I'm going to talk this down to. 18 foot pounds. Welcome back YouTube Nation, little zip here, um, I'm going to go ahead and stick the water pump on, oh, my hair is a mess, so flat, uh, I'm waiting on my thermostats, so I'm not going to put the upper and radiator hose and houses on yet, but we're going to go ahead and stick the water pump on, I just finished up the timing cover, the rest of the timing cover. I uh, haven't torqued them down yet. I'm letting our TV dry a little bit more. And I'm going to torque them down to 12 foot pounds. 
uh, the water pump housing. I'm going to torque down to 15 and the water pump at 15. Um, I've been debating on painting this engine block silver or not. I don't think it looks that bad. I'm trying to picture it all nice and silverish. You know, it looks good. But it don't look, I mean, the engine way it is now, it doesn't look that bad. And after I stuck this oil pan on, and I was about, I was going in the house, and I was like, damn, I got to take it back off because I got to drill me a hole for the oil return line for the turbo. So, yes, that's come, the, uh, just the black part's coming off so I can put a hole and put a, put a, a, a bun there or whatever it's called. So the turbo can have returned the oil back to the damn block. So yeah, stay tuned. We're going to we'll go ahead and put that thing on. All right, welcome back. Now I was checking this water pump out and I was running my finger across the top and it was sharp edges. I was like, man, I got to fix that because I don't want no leaks. So I took some 800 grit sandpaper and I cleaned up the sides and stuff. Now it feels really good. So that's how I like it. I had to buy another water pump housing because the alternator part was, you know, busted. So I bought this for 20 bucks on eBay. Everything looks pretty good. I cleaned everything up. Still got brake cleaner in it. <laughs> but, and I'm going to use, I, I think I had a, a newer one. A gasket but I, could, I can't find it so I'm gonna use the old one the old one don't look too bad it's just it's missing the paint on it so we're gonna go ahead and put that on there too so let's get started and I'm gonna go ahead and put that on there got two long bolts one goes here and one goes on top that's where I'm gonna start so I've got the gasket on there I'll go ahead and work it in there. Again, I'm going to torque these down to 15 inch pounds. It's between 12 and 15, whatever you desire. You know, whatever you want you put on there. You could do 12, you could do 13, you could do 14, you could do 15. So I'm going to not screw around. I'm just going to go ahead and do fucking 15. So I've got them two. Uh, this is my water pump gasket. I'm gonna grab my other bolts. I've got everything labeled over here. Uh, exhaust, lower housing, water pump. Two bolts. See on my bag it says water pump, four piece, too long, too short. I already got the long ones in there. Here's the short ones. Here's the bag. Screw the bag. Alright. Short ones go over here. And it looks like a 13 millimeter. So let's go see if I got a wrench. Nope. It's 12 millimeter. It's a 12 millimeter. I think I already got a 12 on my torque wrench. Now I got a 10. Um, there's a 12. Oh, all right. Here we go. 15 inch pounds. There's 10, 15. Just torque these damn things down. Boom. And do this one. Boom. Boom. And one more. I might not be able to get a wrench on there. Or I might not be able to get this torque wrench on there. So, I'm going to have to skip that one. 
and go with a wrench on that one. So I've got a 12 millimeter wrench, not right there. That's a 14. Twelve. Let's see how this feels. Pretty tight. I think that's pretty good. This is this part. I don't know what goes here. I can't remember. But that was loose. All right. We'll just stick the water pump on now. Got the bolts over here. We've got the water pump. We got the gasket. So go ahead and open this gasket up. I already hit my knuckle today. All right, I'm gonna stick that on here some way. Uh, oops, upside down, right there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stick one bolt in there to kind of help out lining the gasket up. Or you know what, you can go ahead and stick two in there. To help the lighting the gas get up. Alright. I'm gonna stick that sucker right on there. Work one side in first. I'm not gonna be able to get a torque wrench on this, so I'm gonna have to hand tighten it. And I can't even get my hand in there. And I'm gonna stop the gasket. Uh -huh. I posted a video of part four on YouTube and I didn't realize it was showing 20 minutes of black screen and I was looking at it and I only had eight minutes on it so I didn't post it back up until I put more info on there or more videos so this video is going on part four Plus, I got the engine bay done. I got to put Bondo on it, or body filler, on the uh, the holes, and then I'm ready to sand it. So, you guys going to watch that in the process, too. Uh, when torquing this down, you don't want to torque it too much, because you don't want to break these, these parts here. So, a good little snug. Depends how much muscle you got, right? So, I don't have very big muscles, so it doesn't take that much. But I don't want to break it either. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Make sure it's good. Oh, this one's a little loose. That one's good. Oh yeah, that's good. That's perfect. Alright, next. Still waiting on my thermostats. Let's go ahead and torque. Let's torque this down. Bring the camera over here. We'll set it up. And we're gonna torque this down. Uh, 15 foot pounds. No. 12 foot pounds. That's what it was. I got my torque wrench. 10 millimeter. 12. There's 10, 12. Now, I don't know if there was no sequence in the book, so I'm at my own. You just don't want to go in a line. You want to kind of crisscross it. So we're going to go ahead and start it with the outside. Don't want to bam, hit the camera. All right, then you kind of crisscross. Do one all the way over here. So I kind of want to go around in circles, so we're going to do this one. Oh, wrong way. Alright, and then we did this one. We want to go around, so we're going to do this bottom one. Alright, 
So we did these. We're going to go over here and crisscross down. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do this one in the center. All right, and then we're going to go over here. Now that one's already torqued down. All right, we're going to go ahead and do this one. All right, that should be all of them. So let's go back and check them. Now when you recheck them, you can go any way you want. All right, that should be about it. Now I did take I did take this piece out. Let me uh, bring the camera around a little bit so you guys can see. I took this solenoid out, cleaned everything up with a brick cleaner, and also dipped it back in some clean oil. And I shoved it back in there and tightened the bolt down. So that's cleaned out too. But time of cover is done. So uh, stay tuned, YouTube Nation, for the next part. All right, welcome back. We're going to go ahead and stick this cooling tube on, which belongs right here. So we're going to have to try to feed it inside here, which is not a big problem. No. Oh. oh, this sucks. Hold on, let me take it back out. Uh, okay, I might be able to get that in there. Okay, there we go. Thought maybe I had to take the housing back off. All right, got the gasket for that. So we're gonna throw it in there. Hmm. All right, now we gotta try to line this thing up. Okay, I got the bolts. Uh, steel water hose to water pump, two piece. I even got a picture on there. Cause I don't wanna get confused. All right, go ahead and throw these in there. I did loop up that ring a little bit with some oil, so it'd be a little easier to get in. I had a hard time getting the damn thing off. And we're not, we're just going to hand tighten this. I mean, we're not going to torque it down. You know what? We will. Screw it. Now, I believe it's a 12 millimeter. Let me check here. And... We're going to go ahead and torque that down to 15. Fifteen should be plenty. That's that's tight. Not torque, but tight. And torque it down. 15 inch pounds. Now, I think that seems it needs to be more, so we're gonna go ahead and do it. Let's see what 20 feels like. I think 20 be it. Feels like 15 wasn't enough. Oh yeah, 20 is good. 20 foot pounds on that that's good and there we go boom <laughs>